What's up, gorgeous? Today, we're going to be reviewing, swatching, and demoing the NARS Afterglow Irresistible Palette. This consists of 12 shades to create romantic rose peach neutral colors to create a delightfully pink and it's limited edition sultry smolder so if I'm not giving sultry smolder we need to do it again have a surprise if you are watching this video and you are subscribed then you might want to stay till the end because I might have a surprise for you. The shades consist of four buttery mattes, four smooth satin, and four gleaming shimmer shades with like a sparkly finish. It's perfect for a date night, for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. It's an all-around palette. I definitely think you could just put this in your suitcase and use it for everyday looks it could be toned up and toned down i really did like this palette i do think the nars afterglow irresistible palette reminded me of the naked three palette which i really do like and if you have brown hazel kind of green toned eyes it will definitely accentuate your eyes which looks very 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 pretty but it definitely gave me naked three palette I will say that I did not like how the matte shades blended on my eye, especially midnight. Um, I did not like the way it was very chalky as it came off onto my brush and then putting it on. I just feel like it, it seemed smudged on my eye, like it didn't give a flawless kind of blend. And so through the demo, you'll see me fix that because I just, it just was, I was going for a more halo eye look and I end up getting this not mad at it just wasn't what I was going for I do think the shimmers are pretty but they're they're very similar I don't dislike the palette I just think the color range is just what it says it is pink and it is nudes and it shimmers and that's what you're gonna get and it is an everyday look that you can do it's very very beautiful NARS um, I love their concealers. I love their foundations. Um, I think this might be my first palette that I've tried from NARS and reviewed. Advertise for a velvet soft texture. Applies effortlessly for an even layer color that lasts. I, this is my first look. I do plan on doing a series with these, this palette for Valentine's Day. So I may be able to be a little bit more detailed in... If it is effortless, I, like I said, the midnight shade kind of just threw me off. I just didn't think that it blended as smooth as I wanted it to. If you enjoy this look and you want to recreate it and you have the palette, then keep on watching. All right, you guys. So I'm taking Mood Swing, that shade that I felt like didn't blend very well, onto my crease. And as I'm doing this, I can kind of tell it's not moving the way I needed to. I was expecting more of a buttery, smooth kind of application as I was moving it through my lid. And it just was kind of sparsely being applied onto my eye. Again, we fixed this, but I was looking for this to be my transition shade. And it was a little darker than I intended it to be for the look I was going for. But that is okay. We're just going to keep moving, keep blending. So next, I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush to blend the harsh edges out of Midnight. Hoping that will kind of save what I was intending it to do. 
I was looking to do a halo eye and use this as like a transition shade. Next, I took high stakes and I put that right on my outer and inner corner of my eye, just stamping it on. I left the middle part of my eye clear because this is where I wanted the halo part of the eye to pop. So next I took Frisky and I'm placing Frisky right in the middle part of the eye that we left bare. just tapping that on as well as you notice when I said that the colors are very similar you can't really tell the difference between frisky and high stakes blending that out on the brush that has nothing on it then I took adoration and I placed that right in the middle because I felt like frisky didn't have enough pop that I wanted it to I needed it to be a little bit lighter so I placed adoration right on top of that blending it out Now we're just getting into me doing a wing. I look very concentrated. You know, wings are very serious. You can mess up the entire look with trying to do a wing. So you do have to be steady, steady hand, kind of know which, where you're going with it. See, wings are sisters, not twins, clearly, yes. Now I'm just taking mood swings and I'm placing that under my under eye to give it a little bit more of a smoky effect, give it a little bit more depth. After I put mood swings under my under eye, I'm then going to take Amorous and I'm going to place that right in my inner corner. Now I'm taking Amorous and I'm putting it right in my inner corner. I apply some lashes. Some mascara for my bottom lashes. And there we have it. Your sultry smolder. We are looking good. We're feeling ourselves. We're trying to take some pictures. This palette was very pretty. It's Definitely something you can take with you every day. Give yourself, you know, your basic neutral eye, but it also can give you a pop. It's giving date night. It's giving Valentine's Day. Very, very, very pretty. So you stayed to the end I'm proud of you many people didn't make it this far but you did you did congratulations I was fortunate enough to go out and buy a NARS afterglow irresistible palette for myself and this is a limited edition palette meaning it's not staying around very long so I thought how to keep my followers engaged how do I bless them? Well, I'm doing a giveaway. I bought a second one of these for one of you. And the rules are simple, honey. You just gotta follow them. So you have to be subscribed. Subscribe to this channel. Like and comment on this video. 
tell me what you liked about the video and if you would enjoy having this palette you have to be following me on all my other social media platforms which i use instagram and tiktok i will then have a post on there as well with the rules you have to share it on your instagram story and repost my video on tiktok so not very hard, simply keeping you guys engaged and there will be one lucky winner of this beautiful, beautiful palette. I enjoy working with the palette. Every palette is not perfect, there's always hiccups, but at the end of the day, if you create a beautiful look out of it, you won. This is a limited edition palette. It is retails for $60. Pretty pinks, nudes, shimmers, neutrals. There will be one winner I would choose the winner on January 31st. It will be sent out to one lucky person in the United States. Hope that you get it in time for Valentine's Day so that way you can follow along on my Valentine's Day series with a couple looks from this palette and playing around with it. And if you are interested in the giveaway and you want to participate in the giveaway, please follow the simple rules that will be in the description below. And I'll see you later.